you've been looking for a coach under 22 feet, under 3,400 pounds dry, can sleep four to six, and even has a slide with quite technically a throne, grab your crown. I found your kingdom. Everyone should have a plate of decorative wicker balls inside their RV. I'm just saying. What's up? It's Chris Young lounging in my brand new Jayco J flight. This is the 184 BS BSW. And this is actually a Baja edition, which is in a package you can get on your Jayco J flight. I'll tell you more about it pretty much once we get outside. But awesome 21 foot, seven inch, 3,350 pound dry, four to six sleeping beauty that gives you a slide. And the first thing I saw when they gave me this updated, like awesome decor, where you get the mixes of the bourbon, the chocolate, the gray, and the whitewash, farmhouse style. Uh, the slide dinette looks like a throne. Check it out. I mean, you might be saying, all right, Chris, you've hit your head way too many times on the slide, but work with me on this. It is a 21 feet, seven inch RV with one slide where usually in these models, you get a dinette that's about this big. Now you get a four person dinette, plush comfortable seats right here. This table does come off the wall, sits on the feet right here, and you could comfortably sleep. I'm gonna say definitely the dog, one adult, maybe a couple of kids if they're smaller, but you got a large panoramic window. I got the pleated shades, mushroom light, got that awesome, decor that's in here that's light and bright mixed with the darker accents this kind of feels like i'm in a throne because it's raised up i'm sitting up i'm not gonna hit my head when i get up off the rv they gave me storage under both sides and storage there too full extension solid wood cabinetry those drawer guides can hold 75 pounds which is really nice jayco is big on the poundage uh, they know that I like to eat meat, so they gave us more weights. I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to the bunks. But, and hang with me on the bunks, because you're really going to like what they did there. Up front, if you've been looking for that first RV, guess what? You got it. I got me some beautiful whitewash cabinetry here, shaker style with the matte black pull, side opening on both sides. Got that farmhouse decor continuing even into the storage here mushroom light there dual mushroom lights here for reading and a bed going east to west nestled up front that is queen size now with this one this one came standard with the baja and the overlander package overlander excuse me um that's where you're going to get solar panel solar inverter awesome package to get if you're going to go off the grid because that solar panel will trickle charge the battery. You can get 100, 200. You can upgrade as many panels as you want. Check out the Overlander package by Jayco if you want to go off grid. Fantastic. Dual USB charging. 110 outlet here. Double windows on the side. Privacy curtain here to give me some privacy for my kids that's snoring. But check out the little storage net up here pretty nice little maximizing of the space if you think about it it's not just an open space i could put something in there it's not going to fall out while it's in transit I've got a comfy pillow there with the emergency exit right there's my solar charge controller and of course oh buy wicker balls storage underneath that is accessible from outside yeah huh. they stayed just like you should and by the way if you like rvs you like camping Thank you for staying. Please click like, subscribe, and notify so next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. Friction hinge entry door here, padded cover there. Got your controls as soon as you walk in, awning and your slide as well as your lights, and right here are gonna be where you can check your tanks as well as cut on your water pump. Now this one, you got a 30 gallon fresh and dual 19s for your gray and your black. Very nice feature to have. And Nick, while you're holding the camera up there, how about a 13.5 BTU roof mounted AC to go along with our 18,000 BTU furnace nestled under the fridge, which I'll get to here in a minute. On the campsite, where we're gonna do all of our meal prep, you got up top IRV Technologies AM FM Command Center right here. With Bluetooth, it is dual zone, plus you got the USB and the HDMI. Flush mounted, well, microwave, it's not flush mounted because it's sticking out, Chris, kind of like your forehead is storage spot with the plug 
this would be a good grab and go spot. Not huge, but once again, if you've been tent camping and you're used to, you know, kind of being on the ground, not really had an RV before, looking for that entry level, don't want to break the bank, going to be active, but need a place to get cleaned up, enjoy the meals and sleep. This is right out the gate, man. And you get a TV backer with GFCI, so you got 110 if you need it, but also 12 volt, because a lot of RV TVs are 12 volt, that's very nice to have. And this is pre-wired too for the WineGuard signal boosting, very nice feature. Decorative here, I like how they did the backsplash with the farmhouse decor. Got the solid surface countertop, undermounted sink, high-rise faucet, two burner cooktop, and more storage underneath. Good spot for the trash can, some pantry items if you need it. Uh, I'd probably put the pots and pans in that drawer. This is kind of easy access for the burner there, plus my Greystone hood and your Furion 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge freezer combo. I like this because you can run it while going down the road. And they even gave you a drawer right there. Wow, that's nice and big. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Very nice. But over here are my bunks. Now, Jayco loves to give you more poundage when it comes to things from the magnum truss roof which you're going to be able to get more poundage up there to about 300 pound capacities on your bunks a lot of times in rvs the the single a single or twin over twins are only 150 pounds so having this 300 pound capacity here very nice plus it's teddy bear series mattress but but get, get a mattress topper trust me on that it'll just make it more comfortable dual usb charging led light and underneath, even got a spot for storage. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, if you actually close it, just be careful with that. I obviously didn't. I just like the decor. Nick, get that floor, man. Look at that. So they mixed the chocolate, the bourbon, the gray, and the white wash in the floor. Everything ties in together. Now, one of my buddies, Anthony, was like, look, I don't like it. Let me tell you why I like it. Your kitchen countertop probably isn't the same countertop color as the seats in the dining room or the nightstand in your bedroom. The cabinets in the kitchen probably aren't the same cabinets colors in your bedroom, right? Mixing it up, making it feel a little bit more residential. Since it's Jayco, it's gonna be made well. High-rise plastic bowl with the foot flush. Got me a little vent right here. Skylight to give me some additional headroom. Plus, I got my matte black shower controls here and my faucet. Splash tub, too. I, I, I'm a fan of this because if you bring the kids, you bring the dogs, uh, you can get everybody cleaned up, and there won't be any splash over if you're cleaning them up in the tub. A lot of times with RVs, especially in this price point, you usually just get the shower surround. Uh, and the skylight being 6'2", you can see I, I got the headroom. If it wasn't here, boom, knocked out. Knockout is that suburban on-demand tankless water heater too. That's nice. That's really nice. Good to go, man. We are good to go. Your family's first RV. I really like the decor. I like it. Leave me some comments down below. And let me know. What do you do? Do you like this? Do you like the flow? I mean, I, I do. When they told me, oh, it's going to be bourbon chocolate. I was like, okay, it sounds really delicious, but is it going to be a good color? I like this with the gray, the light, the dark, and that farmhouse. We're rocking. All right, let's go check out the outside. Come on. All right, let's talk about some awesome features you're going to find on the outside of your Jayco J Flight 184 BS. This is the W Baja edition. Number one, how about solid steps? Love the fact that you get that, especially in this class, this price point. Extra large grab handle, doubles as a door guard if you need it. Uh, friction hinge door too, 16 foot awning with LED light strip. Dual speakers outside, that entertainment center on the inside, the IRB technologies. You can play your music inside or outside. Let me show you something that I think is pretty neat that if you have and never have had before, you won't really know that you have it. What are you talking about, Chris? Covered hinge. In the elements, if this was uncovered, you would get the rush streaks down the side of your door. 
Having that is nasty. You don't want that at a campsite. More importantly, you don't want a rusted hinge on your baggage door. It's also magnetic clasp. And this is underneath that queen size bed in the front cap that's going east to west up here. Speaking of the front, got the manual tongue jack, 30 pound LP tank, diamond plated rock guard, and the seamless roof that is that magnum truss roof. Love it. And all of it is seated on that single super sturdy frame. On the Baja edition, you're going to get some pretty sweet additions too. Great package to get if you're going to go off grid because chances are you're going to get the Overlander solar panel, but you're also going to get 13 inches of ground clearance underneath and check out the tire. 4x4. Yep, nitro filled, wheel cover and galvanized wheel well. Love the fact that Jayco does that. Power outlet here, so if I want to set up something I can, plug it in, charge it up. 4x4 sewer hose storage, LP quick connect there, so if you got your grill, you can plug it in. Backup camera prepped, nozzles. Come around to the off-camp side. This is where you're going to see your terminations and your connections. Uh, the back of your tankless water heater, cable and satellite input, fresh water, and right there are your dumps or your terminations. 30 gallon fresh, 19 gray, 19 black. Got my slide right here. Low point drain fresh water fill and the info panel. This is where you come to see, especially if you're looking for an RV, how much does this RV weigh? So for, so for example, gross vehicle weight on this one, you're looking at 4,500 pounds, but dry, this thing's 3,350. You take that back to your specialist at Camping World and you say, okay, t tell me, what does that mean? Here's what my tow vehicle can tow. Here's how many people we need to sleep. Here's where we're gonna go camping. We have that information. We're gonna give you the RV of your dreams guaranteed. It's just getting the right one for you. But at 21 feet, seven inches, less than 3,400 pounds dry with that awesome slide, the new decor can sleep four to six and it's Jayco. Like I said, grab your crown, your RV kingdom awaits, my Lord. Are they bringing Game of Thrones back? No, dang it. Anyway, leave me some comments down below. Let me know, what'd you think of the 184? And now I gotta go watch seasons one through three because they were the only good ones. <laughs> Chris Young for Camping World. Bye y'all.